Hello everyone, welcome back to some more From the Depths. Today we're going to be doing a building episode. We're going to be building a... I wouldn't want to say bomber, but... I don't know, I guess it's going to be some more of a... Multi-role fighter, which has a bomb. Because with the introduction of the patch yesterday... We've got new stuff for the Crab Cannon. We've got a bomb shoot barrel. Which is a single piece of barrel, which goes instead of the other barrels, and then it makes it a hundred percent accurate. Oh, crying out loud! There we go. Sets accuracy to perfect, removes all recoil, increases elevation and azimuth, and hugely reduces and fixes projectile speed. We're gonna be dropping bombs on the enemy. It's gonna be glorious. But before we do that, there's two things. One. There is something that I managed to get, which was not included in yesterday's update video. Because it was April Fools and they had their big red button, they also had a ton of remade ships. So for example, this picture here is what the Marauder was yesterday. And after uploading my, uh, uplo uh, my update video, I was made aware of the fact that like... 10 or 15 vehicles of the Deepwater Guard have been changed to ducks and angry sheep and whatnot. So if you guys want to see a short 5 minute ish video of me reacting to all of those things and showing you what they look like. They're not in the game anymore, I already checked, so if we want to spawn in a Marauder, we are going to get a Marauder. And if we spawn in an Ant Lion, an Ant Lion. Spawn in the uh, the Kraken was another one. Get a regular Kraken somewhere. So yeah, that is sadly no longer in the game, but I still have video footage of that. So you know, if you guys want to see that, let me know. I can easily render it out and upload it later today as a bonus video. Second thing is somebody requested in the comments today Shortly before I started recording this that I show a quick look at the wing v2 And since we're gonna be building planes anyway, I'm like yeah sure no problem. So this is the wing 2 Which now has an obsolete patrol card on board And as the deeper the guard helpfully mentions here it's still quite easy to destroy. Let's quickly warp over there, we'll repair it. This is a little bit annoying, it's not... There we go. Like I said, we're gonna quickly repair it, then we're gonna take a look at what makes it tick exactly. And then we'll start designing our bomber. I'll do most of it off camera, but I will show you, of course, the end result. Maybe a little test flight, depends on how long it's gonna take. Because I am recording this quite soon to the, ah, well. Quite soon is a relative term, but. I don't have like 10 hours or something to spend on this plane, but I don't think I should because I'll learn that trick or two. And I'm gonna build like an F-14 or something like that. I could always go for a second world war prop driven bomber at some point, but I don't know, I'm, I'm just gonna build a jet for now because that is easier, they're generally faster and I don't know, I, it's it's just something that I wanna do. That's pretty much it. I can try to justify it all I want, but the gist of it is that I just really wanna build a jet bomber. That actually just looks like a jet plane instead of a jet bomber. Oh dear, now this is quite the rodeo, but let's quickly take a look at what makes it tick. I mean, its uh, speed upgrade is mostly because of these huge jet engines. I have two on there instead of one before. And f aside from that, I pretty much try to make things a bit more compact. We still have the wood in the middle, we have ammo in the middle instead of mostly on the sides to sort of reduce it. We've got a bit more engines on here because of course more engines on the outside so we need more power. Aside from that yeah it's really pretty much the same. But there we go that is that taken care of. I'm gonna do some building now and I'll see you guys in a bit. 
Okay, so I've been working for a while, and this is what I've been able to come up with so far. It's not... It's far from done right now, it's just... A first look, really. It's, I'm basing it sort of on the F-14 Tomcat, and I'm gonna make it the Bomber Cat, or whatever. If you look down here, it's got two little nipples here. And they can actually fire at uh, that arc, which is amazing. I really thought they couldn't do that, but the minute as I try it on camera, of course I have to blow my own bloody plane up. So yeah, that is uh, exactly why I have them like that, and not further inwards. You know, friendly fire is a bad thing and all that. But yeah, I wanna, I wanna give you guys a little bit of a look and my thoughts in the design process, etc. As we are slowly rebuilding. Now, it is slowed down quite a bit, and I think that is because of the... Uh, Uh, could be because of the lack of nanites that now exists. Because repairing really did slow down quite a bit. Couldn't help but notice that. They may have also tweaked the times on that, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, we can borrow some points right now. To make things just a bit quicker. I mean, thankfully I illustrated how quick it was before. So that you guys now have a bit of a reference material. Yeah, the gist of it is, I want to have this thing flying fast. I'm going to use custom jet controllers in here. And I'll probably go in deeper tomorrow when I actually have this thing finished. Hopefully. Like, it's, I've been building for one and a half hours here, just trying things. And I don't think I quite have the time today to be able to pull this off unfortunately which is sad because I would have loved to have a bomber plane ready for you right away but fortunately that is just how things go as we slowly rebuild it you know what I'll be right back once it's rebuilt and then we'll actually talk bombers etc so I'll be right back okay we're back everything's back built etc so over here we have the gauge increases I'm going for a thousand millimeter shell although having said that I don't really know why I'm really limiting it like it doesn't take much to get the, re the uh, reload speed to a reasonable degree and we're gonna be with the speed I'm imagining we're gonna be doing like a single pass and then we're gonna keep flying away so actually I'm gonna make the gauge bigger because a bigger is better if you ask most people of course and I'd like to agree with those people actually I think we might not even need to do that we can just literally add gauge increases in here because Yep, still connected. Now we have a 1483 millimeter, which is my battleship caliber. It's actually already connected, so we only need to go like... Here's a firing piece. Go crazy, guys. Like, yeah, that is seriously all that is required. That's weird. I'm not complaining, but it's just a little weird. Uh, cram cannons, I want to make it look prettier. Prettying achieved. There we go. That looks like a giant engine of sorts. Which I'm not against. At all. It just looks even more badass now. Eighteen hundred millimeters now, and we have nearly twenty-four thousand explosive damage with a radius of fifty meters. Armor piercing value of sixty-eight point nine. Hello, hello. That is what we are looking for right there. Just the power to utterly annihilate anything. Now, if you look below here, a little the boobies have uh, 
increase in size, of course. Drastically so. And those are now very dangerous shells. Technically bombs, but... I'm gonna keep referring to them as shells. And... Yeah, it's, it's got quite a packing time. But, thankfully we have most of our things connected up to autoloaders, which drastically reduces the packing time. Which is great. I mean, it still takes a time. Like, it's been 30 seconds. We can't fire yet, although... Uh, let's wait for a couple more seconds. We are nearly at density where I think we were before. Like, it's pretty clear these shells are going to be super efficient at hitting everything that they get thrown at. Although the problem is going to be, of course, how are we going to stay fast enough? Because these are quite big. I'm not going to lie. It takes up quite a bit of space. I'm going to make it even longer than this. Lord knows I will. Because I want to make a big plane, I want to make it pretty, and I want to make it go fast regardless of its size. Which is going to be a challenge in and of itself. But yeah, uh, moving on over here, we have the autoloader system. Now we have the firing piece in the hole here. Which is press P to shrink it. There we go, here's the firing piece. And then here is the giant mortar bomb chute. And basically I've put the firing piece in here, otherwise it would not have the field of fire to be able to hit anything down below. Like, it would just smash itself every single time. We, can, we could probably put on extra firing constraints. Although I'm tempted not to. Just because I don't think this will be flying at angles that it will self-detonate and evaporate. Then again, what the hell do I know? I mean, we can go full out for the 2,000 meter, uh, the 2 meter bomb. There we go, that's it, actually. Now what do we do with this, because it doesn't look pretty enough. Now we can put on extra gauging cubes. What I'm actually gonna do, is I'm gonna try and look at the fusing box. not want to connect there, I don't blame you, I guess. We'll put you on here, then. And we're gonna put a time from first impact on there. Fuses take up 0 0.25, volume is still 18. I'm gonna go for, like, 0.3 seconds. I'm not gonna do penetration depth, because I don't know exactly what it's gonna hit, when it's gonna hit, and this will ensure that even if we do clip the side, we will still blow the hell out of anything, even remotely near it. Which is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm tempted to experiment with these shells on the battleship as well, instead of having penetration depth. Just because, I, when firing at an airy earlier from the Onyx Watch, I had a couple of shells that were like, yeah, we penetrated like three meters, so we're gonna fall out at the end of the area. And it's like, why the hell are you falling down? You should be blowing up. But yeah, all that aside, time for first impact. That's gonna be useful. And maybe that just might help. <laughs> yep, it does not. Science, it has to be conducted in strange ways sometimes. Although, it has to be said, if I put the fuse timer a little higher, we might not have died, because it would have sank further. Although, having said that, we're never going to have a fuse that is going to get us completely away from a 50 meter explosion radius. Hard as though we may try. Anyway, I'll continue working and I'll be right back. I really don't think I'll be able to get this finished today. At least not in this episode, but this is just to give you some thoughts, and if you have any questions regarding jet engines, and uh, yeah, the new bomb shoot, etc., I'm gonna be, I'm gonna use this building experience to hopefully have a 
plane and helicopter tutorial ready at some point in the near future. Of course I'm first gonna focus on getting this built and then understanding how the new bomb shoots fit into the game etc. Because I don't think there are any NPCs as of yet that do use it. But then again I've, I've not even touched the campaign right now. So it, I don't know. And I'm gonna have to mess around with it a bit and build some more planes rather than just the wing and claim that I'm an expert plane builder which I'm clearly not not yet at least so I'm gonna keep building I'll be right back uh, if you have any questions regarding planes etc feel free to leave them in the comments so I'll be right back which I said like 20 times now Okay, so it's still far from done, but at least I have a working prototype flying right now. So here we have the look from the front, from above. I'm certainly going to make things look better up top here, but I thought I'd get a little prototype flying for you. So in here we have the custom jet controllers. We have a bunch of compressors and auxiliary compressors. We've got a bunch of intakes and extra intakes on there. And we have... On the back here, behind the jet controller, we have fuel injectors with extra injectors and combustion chamber with auxiliary combustion chambers and all that. And then on the rear here we have the exhaust, which is ultimately going to be the only thing visible from all this, hopefully. And then we'll try and make it look good, but yeah, this is pretty much what I have right now. Just put on some temporary engines there, just for the sake of it. Just to help with the maneuvering thrusters, etc. Because yes, it is far easier to use little maneuvering thrusters instead of actual real big things. But let's quickly get a weapon controller down somewhere over here, roughly. As we try and stay in the air. It doesn't really matter where we place it, as I'm going to replace it anyway. I did also put down some metal here, so if I ever do decide to take manual control, I will be slightly safer than... Uh, just getting in and probably getting blown right up because this is all built in a lightweight metal alloy as to keep the plane flyable. So you can expect things to go horribly wrong soon as a bullet starts to hit things here. No, I, I, I guess I'll just put it here for a second. It's like no big deal. And we'll fire away. You could just see the slow trajectory and that is awesome. I want to have that. I want to... I wanted to do things, I want to make big explosions happen, etc. It's going to be awesome. But, that is all the time I have for today in this unfinished build. It's more of a prototype, really. Don't even have any turning thrusters on here. We do have some tail planes, but... Yeah, I'm going to be sticking those on... Uh, what's the word? The, uh, the spin blocks. Just like the... Uh, the wing, uh, no not the wing, the laser craft had, so that they shouldn't be experiencing any drag. I don't want to put anything else on there because that would feel like cheating, but I feel like it's okay for the plane and uh, for the tail or tails. I'm not sure whether to go for a straight tail like the uh, Tomcats had or just make them twist just like the uh, Gee, what's the word? The, uh, the laser craft had, but anyway, that's gonna be next time tomorrow. You'll find out before I do, probably. I'm gonna have to take a long, hard look at this and see what I'm gonna do, but I hope you enjoyed this little preview of plane building anyway, and you can actually see that sub 300 we are flying still pretty well, which is, if I remember correctly, that that is changed and I quite like it actually it means that planes are actually a bit more useful but anyway if you enjoyed this dabble into plane building then do leave a like down below leave a comment if you have anything to say and until next time have a good one folks <laughs>